All right, guys. I uh, so so um, you all should do this change as well. So um, we figured out what the problem was with the roof ridge and why uh, the roof ridge here is showing um, south of the roof ridge of the roof above. Um, the issue is that the um, roof ridge here measures 22 feet from the north um, eave and 27 foot 7 from the south eave. So we need to adjust that. But in order to adjust the location of a ridge, the easiest way to do that is to do it by chopping your roof up into two pieces. I know it sounds a little annoying, but you kind of have to do it. Um, so the way I'm going to do that, and the, I think for me, I think the, the, the um, path of least resistance is to copy it and paste it in place, and then just draw the ridge for each side where you want it. So um, I'm going to say uh, edit, and I'm going to, oh, sorry, I need to copy that. So let's do, um, I'm going to say copy and then um, go to escape and say paste. And I'm going to say paste a line to same place. Oh, you copied. Yeah, I copied it. So now there are, there are two of them here. If I do one of these, and I, uh, you'll see two roofs. Oh, you, oh, you copy it. Control C. Oh, that's yeah. copy. Yeah. yeah. Um, OK, so I'm going to edit one of these. And uh, I'm going to draw the eave where I want it. So that goes like something like, or not the eave, sorry, the ridge. Uh, uncheck the slope, because I have my slope generating from, from this edge right there. Um, and then I'm going to use my uh, trim extend corner tool and just kind of close this off and get rid of all these other ones and then hit check. So that's one side. The other side, I then just need to select this one, edit footprint. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Hang on, let me go back to the other one. Um, edit that footprint. I need to make sure that this is 22 feet so I can uh, get it correct. 22 feet. You guys saw that? All right. And you can just leave that dimension there. Um, check this, edit footprint, do the same thing, but I can just grab my uh, picker tool, my line picker tool, and just do it there. Escape, um, select this, uncheck the defined roof slope, trim extend corner, clean that up check that. And uh, I want to show you an issue that's going to pop up here. Um, when I hit check, dimension can be deleted. All right, now let's go into uh, 3D view and take a look at that thing. Okay, this is the problem you run into. Um, the problem is that both of these roof elements are assigned to, um, to basically pull their slope from the top and bottom edge. But they, they, one of them is longer than the other one, so it, it obviously runs higher. Um, we need to, and you can, you can do this a few different ways. You can actually go in elevation and just move them into place. Uh, or if you know the actual height difference that you need, um, you can type it in by selecting the roof that you want to modify and changing what the base offset level is. Um, if, for instance, actually, you know what, let's go in um, <coughs> the drawings and just get our, our bearings here. So. Uh, we're going to look at it in elevation. That's this one here. So notice how um, the eave of this roof over here is, is uh, showing just a couple inches below level two. Okay, and that's, that's the top of the <coughs> eave. Um, so what I'm, I guess what I'm going to do, and that was what was confusing me about yours too, because if you look at it in elevation, it looks like it's a lot lower. Um, maybe there's a gutter or something that's showing oddly. Um, but we're going to go with a couple inches below. So this thing rises and rises and rises to the ridge point, And then this thing gets lower and lower and lower and lower. And that's where you see it extends um, pretty far below level two. So that's the other confusion. Um, so rather than trying to figure out what this dimension is, like I could, I could uh, measure it right here and kind of like you know, go from point to point, and it'll tell me it's approximately one foot seven. But I don't want to set that as my base, and I'll show you kind of why. Um, if I grab this thing and I say um, minus uh, one, well, it's actually going to be minus two foot seven because my roof um, thickness is one foot as well. Um, so let's do two foot seven inches, and that thing goes down. Um, this thing I'm going to put at minus one foot. Uh, Oh, I did two feet, my bad. Okay, 
even though um, I think it's kind of correct, when you zoom in on it, it's really not that accurate. So um, for me, the, the basis that I want to work with is going to be uh, this dimension right here, and I'm just going to guesstimate that it's two inches below that, I think is probably a, a good place to start from. Um, and then let the slope carry me up to the ridge and down the other side. So how do I do that, right? We have, um, let's first set this roof, and I'm going to set this to minus one foot two. That's for the thickness of the roof, and then minus two inches um, to get a little bit below. So that's what you're seeing here. Oh, I need my other elevation open, actually. Uh, Um, so that's what you're seeing here, that little two inch or so drop off the edge that you also see there. Um, so this goes up, 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 up um, at a good rate, right? Um, it goes at, at exactly 312. And then this one, it's ever so slightly off still. So um, in the roof plan view, right, I'm going to edit that profile and rather than this is really important, guys. Rather than having it slope from the eave up, I'm going to slope from the ridge down. Okay? Um, actually, actually, it doesn't really matter because I don't know what the ridge height is. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We could just move it. I don't think of it. Um, I could, but it's actually just easier for me to say move and grab that point and put it on there. What's that? 22 feet. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's the easier way. Just just move it into place um, rather than switching it so it goes down. If for some reason you have a dimension and it only shows your ridge height, then you would have to switch it so that it slopes down. Okay. Um, but anyway, so jumping into 3D real quick again. Um, these walls got broken, so I'll select those and reattach them to this new roof type. And there we go. Fix the roof height. Um, we're in good shape now. So now, in plan view, you see um, this ridge is here. Actually, let me look at that again. Slightly below, right? Yeah, slightly below. Okay, yeah, so this is slightly below, and that's just a little bit higher. All right. Questions? Excellent. Yes. Um, 